Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday's trading session, the 10th of August 2016, bringing you a mid afternoon update here. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store at www.tradesignal.com. Okay, in terms of um, price action and reaction today, let's just bring this up for you folks. Okay, so uh, in terms of the uh, Asian markets overnight, certainly negative. You have the Nikkei down overnight, Hang Seng more or less holding flat, and the Shanghai certainly down. So therefore looking for risk aversion and looking for a move lower in terms of European indices. Okay, in terms of economic data this morning, really it's all about the... Um, US data or US dollar, should I say? The movement in the dollar lower certainly is igniting copper to a large extent, although oil certainly is uh, kept at bay and preventing any, any sell off at present. Now, you currently have a Euro, uh, French industrial data out this morning, certainly came out on the negative side. Okay, Sweden, Swedish data certainly came out on the negative side as well. We have industrial production on the downside, so therefore looking for bearish price action, although US mortgage applications so far. I've come out on the stronger side, okay? Uh, in terms of uh, earnings, prudential earnings certainly came in certainly came in weaker today, okay? Greece has, uh, has, failed, has failed to implement any reforms, only 30% of reforms implemented. Japanese inflation slightly on the stronger side, okay? And concerns with regards to the U U UK bond buying program as well, all hurting potential uh, uh, risk uh, at present, okay? And therefore looking for, for weakness now, Let's bring up the actual charts now, look at the actual technical picture. The German DAX on the daily chart, first and foremost, again, it's all about that potential gap fill at uh, 10,740. Currently stalling at the moment, given the uh, weak data out this morning, and obviously Asian markets down overnight as well. Okay, and now again, we are stalling up here at 10,700, currently around the 10,670 zone. Okay, again, be, be, bear in mind you have a gap fill below at 10,360. So I'm looking to potentially target that zone below from my perspective. Again, there's no real catalyst for the gap to close at 10,740, so bear that in mind. We certainly close, we've got gap lower, close the gap, and then obviously we've sold off ever since. And I do expect this resistance zone to hold at 10,700, folks. Like I said, there's no um, uh, apparent catalyst now to potentially close the gap at 10,740. You know, even with the Euro USD now spiking to 1.18, 1180 uh, or approaching 1.12 it certainly is a, a risk off uh, variable and will certainly hurt exports going forward given the fact that German exports were down yesterday regardless so again whether this is a light volume summer phenomenon which again does occur uh, is renowned to occur okay so again whether you want to attribute to that or whether you want to attribute it to the QE effect, okay, okay, uh, coupled with light volume, certainly uh, inflating equity prices higher. Again, it certainly is comes into question. Now, from my perspective, you've had the Aussie and the Kiwi stellar runs, folks, on the Aussie and the Kiwi as well. I mean, let's bring up a chart of the Kiwi on a daily perspective, and you can see it's been one hell of a run. Uh, you can see we started from the pivot low at 728, and now we're back up to 0 0.77, testing that potential 0 0.78 zone, okay. So again, very, very impressive run. Now you do have uh, potential turbulence on the Kiwi in this zone here, okay? So look for weakness here on the Kiwi and looking for a potential reversal, looking for a flush, okay? Now, let's move on to the French CAC, folks. Let's bring up the French CAC for you. Daily chart on the French CAC at present. You certainly have horizontal resistance on the daily chart, okay? So looking for weakness here, as you can see. The 60-minute chart, again, looking for weakness, uh, again, from the uh, French cat, given the fact that we had this upward sloping trend line, we certainly breached it. Okay, looking for a potential move lower. Uh, again, really, it's uh, to do with the economic data this morning in terms of French industrial production. If I can re recollect correctly, French data certainly came out on the weaker side, and therefore you're looking for weakness. Okay, if I just recollect, to uh, go back to my tweet Twitter feed. I'll be able to confirm that. Yep, French industrial production. Okay, certainly coming in French manufacturing, both coming weaker. Manufacturing minus 1.2% and industrial production minus 0.8%. Again, expecting that to uh, maintain the pressure on equities. Now, you currently have the uh, the market at present. 
Okay, so in terms of the uh, French CAC looking for weakness here again, you still have you failed to close the gap. Now I do it. Uh, I'm, I'm certainly expecting the gap to remain open, not expecting that to close at all. Okay, uh, and looking for weakness. So if I take the pivot high from here, take it to today's pivot high today, uh, and looking you're looking certainly looking to coil up here. You have a symmetrical wedge type formation looking for weakness again. Uh, you also have a a H and S formation too. I mean, if you look at this carefully. Clearly see you have this neckline here. Okay, so the head is here. And again, looking for weakness on this lower high and then looking to flush lower. So from my perspective, certainly looking for uh, weakness. Expect, I was expecting a lower high this morning. Certainly experiencing that at the moment. Okay, you obviously hit a pivot low of uh, 4440 this morning. Uh, and again, looking for weakness to potentially test the 4430 zone. Okay, 4430 zone on the, uh, the French CAC. You do have a key resistance zone here, previous resistance equals support. Certainly is holding at present, and obviously you can see 4440 is quite an important zone here. Okay, but certainly looking for that to break on the back of obviously weaker data. Okay, from the uh, perspective of the uh, French CAC. You also have support down here at 4400, you have the 200 MA at 4415. So these are all zones that are actually going to come into potential support. Let's bring up the FTSE 100 now. Now the FTSE 100, the 10 minute chart, you clearly see we have a H&S formation brewing folks. Okay, looking for this right shoulder now uh, and certainly looking for a shorting opportunity on the FTSE 100. Okay, looking for weakness on the FTSE. Looking at the 60 minute chart, the FTSE at the moment, we, we are holding previous resistance equal support. So, so that certainly has to be respected. You have this diagonal trend line that potentially has been breached. Okay, looking at the daily chart, the FTSE again, you have a potential hanging man candle. Okay, indicating potential exhaustion and weakness on the back of uh, we have uh, the um, failure of the uh, BOE in terms of their bond buying program. Again, certainly a potential setback. Okay, looking at the weekly chart, the FTSE 100, you can clearly see that we've held that resistance at 6870, 6860 and certainly now looking to reverse it and move lower especially given the fact that oil uh, certainly has shown weakness as you can see we had a double top looking for a lower high now and looking for a potential flush on oil the only chart that certainly is surprising to the upside today is copper as you can see here quite an, uh, an impressive and a stellar run copper is dr copper and generally gives you a good indication of where the market is heading and certainly is showing some inherent weakness which is very impressive uh, very very impressive so again that certainly needs to be respected uh, from my perspective but you are factoring that in now to a large extent okay you are factoring that in but yes a very impressive move whether that's purely due to supply side or supply gut uh, again we have had cash to uh, and peanut prices certainly moving higher as well as of late so whether this is some sort of commodity related move on the, on the back of supply phase just similar as, as cash units as well okay now in terms of the euro stocks let's just bring the euro stocks before i finish okay let's bring up euro stocks here we go so euro stocks at the moment like i said you you had that uh, potential gap fill at the uh, 3038 currently at 3028 again this is a showing opportunity for me again 60 minute chart certainly although we have traded out the uh, diagonal trend line let's just leave that for now you are holding previous resistance equals support and it certainly seems to be that target at 3038 so 3038 certainly is a prime shorting opportunity for me on the uh, on the actual euro euro stocks at present okay so it certainly seems to be levitating towards that gap fill but from my perspective in asian markets lower overnight there's no real catalyst to actually close that gap just bear that in mind folks okay so certainly looking for a potential flush low okay on that note uh, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the 25 percent bonus Go